Hi guys, um, this is a short video. In this video, I'm going to give you a clarity of uh, the examination pattern. This is for students who are appearing for Jan 2022 CMA final. So the online examination pattern is what uh, we are going to discuss. I'm going to give you the examination pattern for group 3 and uh, in this video i'm not going to give any questions or such no uh, questions or portions that are covered whereas i'm going to give you know some indications like uh, how the question paper was and what is the pattern followed i'm sorry this video should have been little earlier but nevertheless this video would be really useful for people who are appearing for jan 22 that is mostly for uh, tamil nadu students let's start okay the examination pattern would be um, okay for group 3 first let me go with the uh, law for corporate and allied law okay there will be 20 marks for mcq and the rest 80 marks would be for the remaining portion where students have been asked to write their answers clearly and uh, there will be more uh, space given for uh, you know, writing your answers this is going to be you know uh, using the system not through your answer sheets so it's going to be in the system you have to write your answers so okay so 20 marks and 80 marks this is the split 20 marks is for mcq and the remaining 80 marks is for uh, you know the rest of the option whereas this 80 marks have been splitted into 16 into you know 5 16 into 5 same case this or that option would be there and on top of that there will be uh, situations where you have been uh, tested to write in single line or maybe a kind of a paragraph okay there are questions from corporate governance there are questions from allied law as well as there are questions from companies act and the students view is that many questions have come from the chapters that are not expected from students perspective Say for example, if you have expected uh, Companies Act, uh, Directors chapter to be the important chapter, there will be very less weightage given for those chapters. For few chapters that students consider very less, less weightage, those areas were tested. Where as usual, corporate governance, whatever marks, uh, you know, as um, we have discussed in our class and you know, so far you have seen the pattern has come that is one point and let me go to the next part uh, next question paper that is for uh, strategic financial management for strategic financial management same the case first 20 marks is for mcq you have been asked to write uh, say same like how a written examination happens similarly you have to give the right answers here for mcq and uh, section a and then the section b would be like uh, 80 marks written the observation here is that from student is that the paper was little lengthy there were a lot of time required for students to read the questions clearly many questions have come from international finance and derivatives this is for sfm and for costing similarly the first 20 marks is for mcq and then the rest of the things have come from uh, the rest of the things have been uh, kind of a problem or uh, kind of situations given where students have been asked to choose the answers in the mcq they have been given uh, you know answer sheets to work it out uh, the problem and give the final answer in the system that is for costing okay few highlights here it is decision making problems have come and then uh, similarly over whatever weightage in the previous uh, examination you know the examiner has given the same pattern the same weightage have been given here as well so that is for costing and the last paper for group 3 is uh, direct taxation for direct taxation here they have not tested any questions uh, from case laws whereas they have tested questions uh, like case study okay for direct tax similarly similar to other papers direct tax have got 20 marks from mcqs and the rest of the 80 marks have come from all the five heads and the remaining areas similar to the previous papers 
one key highlight is that instead of case loss there is a case study part is given which is which is the last section where students have been tested to analyze the case study and give their and apply their tax provision knowledge to write their answers so this is how direct tax question paper was tested so this is the pattern so far so this is something that i have extracted by you know discussing with lot of students who wrote their exam during december last month so i hope this video would be useful for people who are writing their exams uh, from tamil nadu and also other state i am not exactly sure for which of the states it will be useful but please pass it to other your other friends as well whom so ever it is applicable and in the due course in the upcoming days you can expect some videos from me after the exams like uh, how the paper was and how students have felt just to give you a flavor not to discourage any particular student or to you know boost any student always my feedback would be like uh, you know please don't do your discussion post your exams just uh, you know move away and focus for the next paper but my videos would be like for the upcoming students since it is for online so people who are writing their exams in the upcoming attempt say june 2022 for them it is going to be really useful and uh, people who really want to see the you know overall view of students also they can watch these videos and uh, that's all i have thank you so much